Hey everybody, this is James from Unpacking Magic, and today we're going to open up a fat pack of Amen Ket. You know, this is obviously the best set to come out the last two years. I'm just joking around, but at least we got mummies, and uh, we'll see if we can open up anything cool in here. So let's open this up so you guys can see it. Okay, so... One of the things I wanted to, we'll open up this first pack, but a couple of other things I want to talk about too is that we've got Worlds uh, coming up this weekend, and some of the uh, the standard deck lists were already posted today, um, and most of them consist of just two decks, um, which is pretty consistent across the board to be Blue Black Control and Mono Red Aggro. And, uh, the main cards that those are playing is Scarab Lord and the Chandra card. Um, so yeah, it's pretty interesting to see. So we've got a Mouth and Feed right here. So not the best card in the world, but it's okay nonetheless. Put this pack away. Um, so yeah, so for Worlds, it's pretty interesting to see that we've basically got, uh, you know, two decks out of uh, out of all the options that are out there. There's also a Tamir Energy deck. We'll see how that does. Um, you know, it'll be surprise. It'll be interesting to see how card prices are affected through Worlds. Um, I do think that Scarab Lord doesn't have much higher of a ceiling to go. We may see that card get up to sixty bucks, um, but I don't think it's going to hit that. Uh, it, it might. It's a really good card. Um, let's go through this. So nothing super crazy. Um, I do think that from the world's information, uh, some of the cards that you guys should be looking to, you know, invest in and get, um, would include, uh, Rivers Debut, uh, and Settler, uh, Settle the, the way, the, the white card that costs four that exiles all attacking creatures. I think that that card's pretty good. Oh, there we go. We got one good card. So there you go. This is a $13, $14 card, Hazard the Fervent, and this is played in uh, this is based, this played in the Mono Red deck for Worlds right this second. There's four of these. So this is one of the really good cards to get in Amonkhet. This is the most expensive card. Um, there's a couple others. The Gideons are pretty good. The other Planeswalkers are decent. The Ilion the Lilianas, and uh, there's a Chandra I think as well. But it's oh Kaldesh. Oh that one's in Kaldesh. So. Anyways, this one is uh, the expensive card out of the set, so I'll put that off to the side. Um, you got a foil, full art land, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I'll put these off. Uh, so yeah, so some of the interesting things, like I was saying, for this this world's format is it's really not very diverse. Um, there's only a couple. Uh, there's only a couple decks, and that kind of creates this, uh, you know, kind of like gap for rogue decks to be able to kind of do well. Um, but there's not really any rogue decks uh, for Worlds. So we'll see how that, um, you know, pushes over to Standard, um, how Worlds kind of affects that. Um, I think we're going to see a bunch more uh, play from some other interesting cards from Ixalan, and I think there are a lot of powerful cards. One of the interesting things, though, is that um, a really good card, Hostage Taker, obviously went up in price a lot over the last week, and, um, you know, it, it's not really seeing any play. It's not in any of the world's decks. So that's actually really, really interesting. Um, this is Anointed Procession here. Not a super expensive card, but it's another one. Um, so it's really interesting to see that Hostage Taker being rated so heavily by people and having that price jump um, isn't seeing play for Worlds. So I would expect that card to go down in price, so if you do have it, I would I would definitely recommend you sell it. Um, a couple of the other things I want to talk about is some investment ki kind of things, and those necessarily don't really relate to standard. They're more modern kind of investments. I think... Um, a lot of the sack lands, any of the, um, you know, polluted deltas, would, you know, uh, windswept heaths, any of those types of uh, lands are things that 
everyone should be buying right this moment. I think that those are going to be going up in price here uh, within the next 6 to 12 months to a double or triple value um, of what they currently are. Um, that's my opinion. Uh, I also think that there are obviously a lot of cars. Everybody's kind of going over the revised list now or the, um, the restricted list and buying, you know, as many of the cards as they can off of the restricted list. Off the reserve list, sorry. Uh, not the restricted list. Um, it's late. But, um, you know, off of the reserve list, and a lot of those cards have gone up a lot in price. Uh, you know, Wheel of Fortune, um, shit, artifact, all the art power artifact, uh, all of those have gone up a lot in price. So those are cards I think that, you know, if you're looking to invest in stuff, they're not bad investments. Um, there's another full art land. Another thing too, guys, so most of the cards that are in these fat packs, we're giving them away. Uh, we're going to be giving them away to uh, you guys. So comment down in the section below if you're interested in uh, winning these cards that we're opening. Um, also, please let us know uh, what like types of fat packs or boxes you would like to see us open. Um, we're definitely open to opening up anything that you guys would like to see. Uh, you know, anything that's old, anything that's new, we wanted to open up what you guys would like to, uh, hear and talk about and see. And, you know, we've also got a Modern Masters box that we're probably going to be opening up here pretty soon. And that, uh, that Modern Masters box, we're actually going to be giving some of those packs, um, of opening up product away to the people that are watching the channel. So if you're interested, uh, in, in, you know, getting some of those cards, those packs for free, basically, Make sure you watch our channel um, and, you know, subscribe, let your friends know, share the videos, and um, make sure that you comment on all of the videos that we post because that will give you a better chance to win. Um, and that's really one of the things that we're looking for on giving people uh, these packs and the cards that are we're pulling out of this. So we've only got uh, two packs left uh, out of this fat pack. We have pulled one great card, so that's great right here. Um, you know, it hasn't really paid for the fat pack itself, but we will see if we can make that happen. Um, let's see if, you know, you pretty much have to get one of these expensive cards. Uh, Cascading Cataracts, not super expensive. So what we're looking for right this second is pretty much a Planeswalker for the most part. Uh, I don't think that that's gonna happen but we need to basically find a Gideon out of this last pack to make our money back so let's see if we can let me go this way but let's see if it happens so full our land that is a foil that is not a Gideon <laughs> so it's an Avon mind sensor so not a very great card but you know oh well it's not awful so um, that's what we have for these packs. So we're going to be giving away all of these cards right here, except for the Hazard. And all in order to win these, these are going to go to multiple people down in our uh, comment section down below. What you need to do is comment about what type of product you'd like to see us open. Um, and also, we want you to share the videos and... We want you to be very active with us. We are going to be choosing multiple people to win these cards. And every single time we do an opening of a video, those people are going to have a chance to win whatever we are opening. So we want this channel to be more of, uh, you know, for the fans. The fans are why we're doing this. We're doing this to connect with our fan audience. And so we want you guys to be as interactive with us as we're trying to be as interactive with you. Um, the next, one of the next uh, openings that we're going to be doing here in the next couple weeks is a Modern Masters box um, that you guys will be able to see and um, we will be doing the same similar type of thing where you guys will have the ability to basically get these cards for free just by subscribing to our channel and sharing the videos and um, we will have a lot of other content that includes investment advice. Um, you know, what's new in the metagame, what's going on in standard, modern, legacy, vintage, and uh, a bunch more really expensive boxes and cool product uh, here on Unpacking Magic. So please stay tuned and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.